Today we're going to talk about three different lies when you hit pitch shots. Stay tuned, I'll give you some tips on how to hit them better. In this challenging game, many people struggle the most with making solid contact. My name is John Gray, head golf professional at Native Oaks Golf Club and your host of the Gray Area. Let's get to it. So we're talking about three different lies when you hit pitch shots and you can find a lot of them, but mainly you find a shot either in the fairway, that's sitting up nice. You can find a lie in the rough, the second ball here, where it's sitting on top of the rough. And then you also are gonna find that ball that gets in the rough but sits down. Now, first off, there's three completely different expectations on these shots. Uh, when you're in the fairway, you have a lot of different options on how to hit them. I'm mainly just gonna say the, the, the basic pitch. When you get in the rough, and the ball is sitting up, you still have a lot of options, but one thing that's not gonna happen is the ball is not gonna spin as much. Okay, so that's one thing you need to recognize. Now the third one, when the ball's sitting down, the biggest difference is that the club's now gonna get caught by the grass before it hits the ball. So we're gonna need to do that one a little bit different than these other two to make sure that we actually hit the shot the way we want it. But we have to understand that one that's sitting down in the rough is not gonna stop very well. So first off, I brought two wedges with me. I brought my 60 degree that has eight degrees of bounce and a 56 that has 10 degrees of bounce. The one that's sitting here in the, in the fairway, I'm gonna try and hit the shot. It's over a bunker with a pretty narrow green. So I do preferably want to hit a shot. The ball's gonna get up in the air, preferably have some spin on it so it can stop closer to the hole. So for this one, I'm actually gonna take my 60 degree. I'm gonna play it kind of like a normal long chip, short pitch, where my feet are still a little closer together. Ball is going to be middle of the stance, maybe a little bit forward. I'm going to play with my body aiming a little bit left of the pin and the, the club face pointing back towards the pin. Okay, I'm going to swing the club along my body and I'm just going to try and hit a shot where the club feels like it's sliding across the ground at the ball. I'm not going to try and come in steep at it. I just want to hit a very simple pitch shot where I'm not trying to do anything fancy. Okay. Tad hard, but not bad. Now, I'm gonna look at the one in the rough. Now the ball is sitting up on this one. Again, I know it's not gonna spin as much. It's probably gonna fly a little higher. I can still hit this one pretty close with a very similar shot. But this one, when I come into the ball, I can tell that there's some, some sponginess below the ball. So if I'm not a little bit careful on how far down the club gets, I could go underneath this ball a little bit and leave it in the bunker. So even more than the last one, I want to feel like the club is sweeping the ground. That way I don't come in too steep and get under it. So again, I'm going to play, I'm going to aim a little left, feet are close together, ball is going to be middle or slightly forward in my stance, and I'm going to take kind of a similar swing. Well, almost the same result. Okay. This last one's a little different. You could play it similar, but the grass is gonna get in the way behind the ball. It's probably gonna get left in the bunker. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play this one a little different purposely. I'm gonna take, actually take my 56 because it has more bounce on it. I'm going to expect my club to hit the grass behind the ball. It's gonna slow down because of that. So I need to take a little bit bigger swing but I want my club to not dig into the ground under the grass. So I'm gonna set up a little bit wider stance. I'm gonna play the ball about middle-ish in my stance. I'm gonna expect the club to hit probably an inch behind the ball, inch and a half behind the ball. And I gotta hit a little harder so I can get over that bunker. Hopefully that helps you understand how to play these three different shots. Get out there, get some practice, try the different clubs, have some fun.